And Truex is 2.2 back. Austin Dillon, six tenths back of Johnson. Johnson is no man in no man's land now. They said he had five laps short, and he's still going. How do you make it five laps? And here comes Truex and Kyle Busch chasing the lead. Two to go. He's out. Austin Dillon, the new leader, as Jimmy Johnson is out of gas. Green's going to make it. Richard Childress's grandson trying to return the three to NASCAR victory lane. There you go. He's flying to go. The white flag wave sponsored by Credit One Bank. Tell you what, if he can just make it, if he can make it a turn three or four, he can post. Now Kyle Busch just went to the outside of 78 to take over second place. If he three runs out of fuel, he'll be the winner. Oh, that three's got it made. He's down on the bottom, coming around turns three and four. Here but he he's got to get there. On fumes, Austin Dillon wins at Charlotte for Richard Childress Racing. Dow and Chevrolet. And look at the crew chief, Justin Alexander, gets swarmed by his crew. I know him by Deuce, because he used to work at Hendrick Motorsports. So congrats, Deuce. Congrats, Austin. When Richard said that, we assumed a member of the Earnhardt family. But then his grandsons, Austin and Tom, wanted to be racers. Austin had worn the number three since Little League. And on every race car he'd ever driven, and Richard Childress said, yes, let's put the three back on the car for Austin. And now he takes it to hallowed ground. Victory lane at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Oh, I think they're going to have to push it there. <laughs> I wouldn't really worry about that. Let's go down to victory lane of Vince Rush. I can't imagine victory being any sweeter than this one tonight. The three is back in victory lane, your first cup win. How do you describe the emotions, Austin, with this win tonight? It hadn't sunk in, man. Uh, I can't believe it. I, I was just really focused those last laps. And my fiance wrote in the car, uh, when you keep God in first place, he will take you places you never imagined. And uh, never imagined to be here at Coke 600 victory lane. And I'm just, uh, Praise the Lord and all these guys that work so hard. My pit crew is the best on pit road, and I just I love it for them. We're in the chase, baby. It's awesome. How nerve-wracking was it when you knew you were low on fuel and then the 48 ran out and you just had to get to the end? I was just trying to be patient with the 48. I could see him up there saving, and I thought I had saved enough early where I could attack at the end, but I was trying to wait as long as possible. And when he ran out, I figured to go back into save mode where I was lifting. and. And it worked out. I, land, I ran out at the line, and it gurgled all around just to do one little spin and push it back to victory lane. The good Lord was blessing us tonight. And man, uh, I got to thank my grandfather. He's put a lot into me. ECR engines. You know, I, I complain a lot, but they got me to victory lane tonight, and the fuel mileage was great. So thank you guys for everything you do. Austin Dillon, the winner at Charlotte, the 600. Ah!